but after one year like once the one year period is over you just switch off your mobile phone you change the location you went to some other country so will the is it possible for bank to you know find it out and take your money no right so similarly what happens uh, it's not possible and see it's not there are hundreds of people that are taking loan every day right so not everyone like um, you know the bank can rush to everyone just to check whether they are in the country or something like that so similarly whenever you take loan in return you have to pay some security right for example if you are taking 100 rupees loan from the bank in return you have to keep something which is worth 100 rupees or which is worth more than 100 rupees so that in case you run away right or you do you are unable to repay the loan they will keep your that product with them clear yeah? yes so that is basically the margin requirement so for example if you are taking 100 rupees loan so the government will be deciding that that oh, sorry bank will be deciding that whether what, like what should be the amount of the product that you are keeping with for example the amount the product should worth 150 or it should worth 1 200 rupees like this they will decide it right so a margin what is this margin is the difference between the for example you are taking 100 rupees loan and the security which you are keeping it is for 200 rupees so what is the difference between both of them 100 rupees that is the margin so a margin is the difference between market value of a security offered by a borrower against a loan and the amount of loan granted right it is also defined as the this uh, the uh, discount fixed by the rbi on the asset mortgage security to the commercial bank okay so it is also defined as basically the discount that the thing so you don't need to write all this you can only write till here okay so what is this it is the margin difference between the market value of a security offered by the borrower against a loan and the amount of loan grant clear not clear yes sir okay now second one is this okay so yeah second one is moral suasion and the direct action so for example you are spending your money a lot so i can orally tell you or more i can give you a, i can tell you a story that okay vanisha there was a girl who used to spend a lot of money and one day she didn't have any money like this i can for example you are scoring a uh, very good mark so i can motivate you orally right so similarly the central bank also puts moral suasion uh, and the direct action so it is a combination of persuasion and pressure that the central bank applies to other bank in order Uh, to get them fall in the line with its policy so over here the uh, central bank is looking that this policy is needed so they will be uh, you know uh, issuing the guidelines and all that or they will like put a pressure and more orally they will dictate them that okay this is important and like this right so it is now how they will do it it is done through letter for example i am the central bank and i am sending letters to everyone that okay you should do this 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 like this or i can present a speech where i will mention all the bank that these are the good schemes and all that or i can give them hint like that right so over here for example i said that from tomorrow onwards every for slr because slr is that which commercial bank need to keep with themselves right so i said from tomorrow onwards from the next month onward everybody needs to keep 30% of the slr right with them but most of the bank they like i just sent letter to every bank and they got that okay this is the central bank guideline that we have to keep 30% as a slr okay but there were few bank that did, they didn't uh, like followed this from the next month and they were keeping it 20% like that the earlier one right so over here central bank may it's not compulsory but they can they may take direct action against member bank which do not comply with its policies and the credit expansion or the contract right so central bank can take action against the member bank like the commercial bank that they are when they are not following their policies clear yeah? yes ma'am now next is selective credit control right so selective control is basically selective control like this is can be applied both as both a, a positive as well as a negative manner for example i have 100 rupees right uh, so i am a central bank during covid time which sector was the most prior which was sector was at the most priority tell me during covid time which sector health sector education sector industrial sector which sector? Health sector so over here for example central bank they have 100 rupees so what they earlier what they were doing we have for example we have five sector the so 2020 2020 we were giving to everyone okay but during covid time we need to give this 50 to health sector so over here i am knowingly what i am doing i am adding to a particular sector i am adding the value 
right or particularly sector i am giving more money so this is a positive one okay so positive manner means the credit will be channelized to a particularly prior priority sector okay and negative manner is basically for example over here what is happening alcohol there is a one department for alcohol see alcohol is not a good thing right the back one and all that so what i will do earlier i was giving 20 20 rupees to everyone now i said i won't be giving any fund to this particular sector right so in a negative manner the flow of credit will be restricted to a particular sector that is a negative manner so i am controlling the money sometimes i am giving more if i am giving more that is a positive positive context if i am not giving i am like i am not going to give this sector any money that is a negative manner yeah yes ma'am so now what you will do you will write qualitative measures first you will write imposing marginal requirement till here and then you will write eight lines eight and one line okay here you will leave the lines and then moral suasion write it down no need to leave any line because over there there is nothing and then selected control here here also you don't need to make the lines okay okay ma'am okay write it down and let me know once done Good afternoon, ma'am. Good evening, Ritika. How are you? Ma'am, I'm fine. Sorry, I joined a bit late because there were some issues. Okay, okay, no issues. So basically, we just started with the qualitative measure. Okay. So first is imposing marginal requirement. Right, so I'm just giving you a brief idea because I've already taught everything to Ritik over Vanisha. So marginal requirement is basically it's nothing. It's a for example, if you are taking loan from the bank at that time, for example, you took loan and you said that I'll repay this loan within one year. But after one year, you just left the country, you switched off your mobile phone. So is it possible for bank to take back the money? No. Right. So that's why whenever someone goes to take money, a loan. So at that time. If, for example, you are taking hundred rupees loan, so in return you have to keep something as a security. Like you have to keep anything which is worth hundred rupees or more than that. Okay, so this is what basically done. So that's why what is margin? Sometimes, for example, you are get, taking hundred rupees loan, and in return RBI has asked you to you know uh, keep as a security one fifty a uh, object uh, like a material or anything which is worth one fifty rupees or more than that. so that is over here the difference between the security which you are keeping and the actual amount of loan you are taking is 50 because 100 rupees loan and 150 for security so 50 but sometimes again like for 100 rupees loan you have to keep your uh, like your thing which is worth 200 rupees right so over here the difference is 
200 rupees 100 rupees so a marginal difference between the market value of the security for example you are keeping your house papers right maybe your property papers so how property papers your property is for 200 rupees so market value of the security offered by the borrower you will offer the security against the loan and which is you are going to take or the amount which is bank is going to give okay and then clear ritika first part yes ma'am now moral suasion and the direct action is, is basically a combination of pressure and persuasion so over here what happens central bank uh, pressurize not pressurize is basically moral moral suasions and all that pressure and see for example if your mother said something to you that you should do this it's basically not the pressure but at least you will be like your mother told you this and you know somewhere you have to follow this like that so this is basically what why this is done because so that everyone can fo follow up in the policy which rbi is making right so how can it be done rbi will present letters rbi will give a speech or the hint to the banks right that okay from next year next month because you can see the rate is increasing day by day so everyone will be keeping slr as 30% or they will increase it the slr or they will decrease the slr like this so now what happened the banks which are not following it so central bank may take it's like may it's not like will take it's may take the direct against direct action against the member who are not following the uh following the guidelines of the rbi clear so what you are going to do first you will write qualitative measures okay and then you will write first imposing marginal requirement till here and then moral suasion then you will write eight then you will leave eight lines then you will write moral suasion and the direct action then you will write this okay okay ma'am
Okay. Okay, Vanisha, you are done. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll just wait for Ritika. Okay. Then one. Okay. Now coming to the last part, it is the selective credit control. Okay, so this is basically applied in positive as well as negative manner. See, for example, we have five departments. Okay. Health department, education department, infrastructure department, so many departments we have, right? So over here, what happened during the COVID time? Which sector was it our priority? Health sector, right? So, for example, government has 500 rupees, like the bank, okay? So, over here, what they are going to do? 20, 20 rupees for everything, right? But during the COVID time, health sector needed more amount of money. So, what I did, 50 rupees to this and rest of the money to the other sector. So, this is what I am doing. I am knowingly putting some money in a priority sector. So, that is basically the positive manner. But, for example, there are different sectors. Right. So in the different sector, what is happening? There are different types of sectors like, you know, health sector, infrastructure, all, and even alcoholic sector. So alcoholic sector is not needed. The money, they don't need it. Right. Because that's causing a harm to the, uh, you can say, surrounding or to the society. So what I will do, I will say that I will not give money to this particular sector. Earlier, I was giving 20 rupees to everyone. But now I decided that this sector, I won't be giving any money. Right. So at that time, what will happen? Right. So at that time, I will remove it. So that's why in negative manner, the flow of credit will be restricted to a particular sector and that's a negative manner. Clear? So quickly write it down.
Okay, Ratika, you are also done. Who is done? Both of you done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, girls, I'm giving you two minutes. Quickly revise all the definition. Okay, because after this, we are going to start with a very important concept. Okay? Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, girls, let me know once you are done, okay?
Okay, so now let's just start with the first. So wherever you left the line, so today we'll be completing that. Okay. But okay. two terms. One is your inflation and one is your deflation. Okay. You people can see the both uh, white screen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So now inflation is basically nothing. It is increase in price. Okay, I for inflation and I for increase in price. And deflation is decrease in price. Okay, so tell me one thing. When they are so, when there are so many people. Okay, so at that time, the price will, in, for example, this is a shopkeeper. He has two chocolates and there are four people who are demanding it. So, he will increase the price or he will decrease the price of chocolate? He will increase the price. Both of you increase? Vanisha, what do you think? No, I'm going to repeat your question. For example, this is a shopkeeper and these are four customers. Okay? So, over here, he has two chocolates. Now, there are four people who wants to buy so over here, what he will do? He will increase the price of the chocolate or he will decrease the price? Increase. Increase. Why? Because he can see that most of the people are ready to buy. So he will increase it. Earlier, the chocolate was for 10 rupees. So every four people were there. Right? Now, the people, he increased the price to 20 rupees for one chocolate. Now, these two people are like, no, no, no. It's so We can't afford it. So only two people are like, okay, we will afford it. So automatically, he removed the people from the lower income group, okay? Now here, this is a shopkeeper. He has two chocolates, right? So he has two chocolates and now there are, okay, he has four chocolates and he has only two customers over here. So at that time, what he will do? He will decrease the price. Decrease the price. Right? Because he has a lot many things to do, right? So over here, what happens usually? Uh, okay, uh, I don't know. Just a minute. I'll just reshare it because I just lost the icons. Okay. Now, so he will, over here, he will decrease the price. So this is deflation. So inflation means when there is excess demand. Yes or no? Yes. And deflation is when there is deficit demand. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So you got it. Inflation is increases. Inflation basically means you will increase the price and in inflation is already related to excess demand, right? Now, see, I'm talking about what inflation usually, when inflation will come, when there is excess demand, inflation will come, right? Inflation will come. So over here, what will happen? Now, this in more and more people will be there. Demand is more, right? More money is going over there. So let's just take an example. For example, this is a bank. Okay. This is bank. So there are four people. Uh, these are four friends. Okay. They all wanted to eat pizza. 
right? So went to bank and they were like hundred rupees. They demanded hundred rupees loan from the bank, right? So earlier bank was giving them loan at ten percent interest, okay? But now there were four people. So suddenly, as you can see, there are so many people who want money. So he just increased the interest rate to twenty percent. Clear? Yes. Yes. Right. So in twenty percent, what happened? These two people rejected and said, "No, no, no. We don't want the rate. Interest rate is too high." Right, only two people there. So over here, there are two situations. One situation where all the four people got the interest rate, right? So all the four people got loan. So over here, in case four people got the loan, so this is a pizza shop, right? He will go there and they will demand four pizza. Yes, right? Because now over here they are taking hundred hundred rupees from the bank, right? So more money, they have more money and they have four hundred rupees. So that's why they will demand four pizza. Okay, but now just to avoid this, what government did, what the bank did, he increased the price. Now these two people reject. Only these two people took the loan. So now only two people. So how much money went to the market? Two hundred rupees only. So over here, how many pizza they will demand? Two pizzas. Vanisha, same. Yes. Right. So this is the scenario. So whenever what happened, there is lot of demand, excess demand. So at that time, in what bank do they increases the price so that what happened, more and more, less money will go to the market and automatically the problem of excess demand will be sorted out. Clear? Now coming to the deficit demand part, deficit. So over here, this is the bank. He was giving loan at ten percent, right? Only one person came and I was like, I want loan. So bank was like, okay, okay, I will decrease the rate. I will keep it five percent, right? So over here, two more people came that we also want this, right? So automatically earlier again two scenario. If government will keep ten percent interest rate, only one person will purchase, take the loan. Hundred rupees will go, and only one pizza will be sold out, right? But now government decreases the price to five percent. Three people went to take loan. Three hundred rupees goes to economy, and over here three pizzas were demanded. Clear? The entire story is clear to you both. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now over here we left eight lines, four and four, and one in middle. So let's just start. So over here, what happened? Inflation. Inflation slash excess demand. Okay. See, if someone will cause uh because of excess demand, what happened? Inflation happened, and because of inflation, what happened? Deficit demand. See, for example, uh there are so many people who are demanding. Right, so what happened? Inflation is coming. Right, when inflation is coming, price is going up. So now people will purchase less. Right, and automatically there will be deficit demand. So I am talking about the cause. Inflation leads to decrease in demand. Inflation is a outcome of excess demand, but inflation leads to what? Inflation leads to what? Tell me. Inflation means prices are increasing. When prices are increasing, will people purchase things? No, ma'am. So because of inflation, what is happening? Deficit demand is there, right? And how inflation is caused? See, there are two questions. One question is how inflation is caused. So how is inflation caused? Who will tell me? When will be when when will inflation come? Mm hmm. Tell me, when there is excess demand or when there is deficit demand? When there is excess demand. Excess demand. So excess when demand. when inflation will come? When there is excess demand. Right? Clear? Yeah. And yes, and inflation will cause what? Now inflation came. Now it will leads to deficit demand. Deficit demand. So don't get confused. Okay. Excess demand means inflation. Clear? Yeah. Because when excess demand will be there, only then prices will increase, right? Once prices increase, they will leads to deficit demand. Clear? Yeah? So don't get confused between the cause yes, and okay. Yes, Most of the student they think excess inflation is deficit demand. No, I'm not talking about the cause. Okay, I'm talking about what leads to inflation. So excess demand leads to inflation. Okay. Now listen to it very carefully. See, just understand the first scenario. 
an entire story you can write it on your own and this story is very 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 important okay so let's just start inflation and the excess demand so over here when there is excess demand what will the bank do they will increase their rate yes or no yes sir yes so bank rate is increased which further increases the rate of interest right so bank rate is increased so bank rate means the rate of interest is increased right you don't need to write all this in bracket thing then what will happen earlier taking loan was easy but now taking loan is costlier earlier you have to pay only 10% now you have to pay 20% right yes sir so it makes the credit costlier now earlier four people were demanding fees, uh, the loan but now demand of credit credit means loan will reduce yes yes ma'am right and less yes, money will go to the economy now purchasing power is curtailed earlier for if for example bank would have given four people so they have the 400 rupees so their purchasing power is very high now their purchasing power is curtailed right and because of this what happened aggregate demand fall and excess demand is corrected so earlier four people were demanding now only two people will demand and automatically the problem of excess demand will be corrected clear yes ma'am okay now deficit demand when there is nothing so over here what will happen bank rate is reduced right now it decreases the rate of interest as well and now taking loan is cheaper demand aggregate um, demand for credit will increase earlier the, there was 10% now 5% so more three people came more money will go to the system or you can write economy purchasing power will increase aggregate demand rises and the deficit demand is correct clear the entire story yes ma'am manisha yes ma'am okay so now four lines you left you will write this you will leave one more line then you will write deflation deficit demand you will write this. okay
one month. Okay, now coming to the next one, this, the same thing you will write, okay, but over here, repo rates make such borrowing by the, so over here you will write the same thing over here, okay, exact same thing, clear? Okay, so whatever you wrote over here, and same, just copy, just instead of bank rate, write repo rate, okay? Okay. 